You know what, guys? You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to say one more thing before I'm gone. I'm going to let you finish, but... I'm going to let you finish, but... But let's look at this doggo real quick. You know what really grinds my gears? It really grinds my gears, right? This is the entire price history for the VIX, the Volatility S&P Index. What this is a measurement of, this is a measurement of the amount of volume being placed in the form of options transactions on the S&P. So many people like to call it the fear index. Sure. Okay, that's a nickname. Um, but what this measures is the higher this goes is the more amount of activities happening in the form of options on the S&P, right? That's what's happening here. Clearly, this does, is not an investment vehicle. This is not an investment vehicle. It does not grow over time. In fact, it has a perfectly horizontal price channel, perfectly horizontal price channel. So let's identify the supports and the, res and the resistance for this price channel. Clearly, the VIX has a support of $8.80. Again, this is perfectly horizontal. That The support of today is the same as it was 30 years ago, right? Right? Okay, it's perfectly horizontal. The, the resistances, as you can see, are marked here. Just like natural gas, just like natural gas, the VIX ne never holds a price higher than $41 for over for more than three percent of its entire price history it, it it just doesn't happen it just doesn't happen so realistically these supports are edge case outlier scenarios so let's well, let's get even closer in on this right and again we are looking at monthlies always keep in mind the time frame whenever we are looking at these symbols uh you, you can tell by this m that it is one month sometimes i'll look at the weekly and yeah each candle re represents one month of time. So as you can see here, if we identify more often than not a resistance price of between $33, bro roughly $30, right? This would be the top end, top end. It, it, it's never really above this price for long at all. More often than not, it's actually way down here. Let's see. Again, we have our support at $8. So let's look at this. Our, our, our midpoint between, we'll say, we'll, we'll use 33. Sure, 33. Midpoints roughly like, let's say, boom, 20. So we'll, we'll mark this line blue. We'll mark this line blue. This is our midpoint. This is our, our top end, this is our bottom end. Now let's go to the current price. Recognize all the price activity it has when it's down here in that $10, $9 range, right? Currently, I guess for the midpoint, I could have put our moving average, right? So this blue line is our monthly 180 moving average. It is currently above average, right? Above average. Um, only indicating if it is so high and it has such a tendency of running this range top to bottom top to bottom top to bottom it, if, if it is currently closer to its resistance than it is at its support right what does this typically tell us to do also let's look at the silly in, in indicator right this dumbass thing that we commented on three times today that basically acts as an rsi saying strong buy if if you're playing the opposite of this thing you are always doing it right so it can't go from strong buy to stronger buy. It can only go to strong sell, right? And it can't go from strong sell to strong to stronger sell. It can only get, it's it's about the flip flop, right? We, we were talking about it. it's basically a different uh, representation of an RSI. Let's look at this even closer on a weekly. So this is a weekly, right? It is above its weekly 180 moving average. Here's your resistances. Every time it touches this price, it comes way down. How much down? It comes down as much as 40 percent. Let's look again. 49%. 29%. Currently, we are projecting as much as a 75% move to the downside on the VIX. Now, we just showed you guys major market indexes from all around the world. All around the world, they are all oversold. This is a buy indicator. They're all at support. These are good things. This is when you want to be placing your trades as compared to the inverse, which we demonstrated in our That Time We Shorted series and with FTX and EWI from over a year ago when we made those videos right before the markets uh, came down off their peaks. 
the only guy who would have been t telling you that. And we also demonstrated in the EWI video that when this thing says strong buy, it's always at a resistance. And when this thing says strong sells, that's always at the support when you're supposed to be buying. This thing's always wrong, 100% of the time. So if we are expecting a 75% move to the downside on the VIX, what does this mean? This means options activity will pull back, right? So the extrinsic value that an options contract will diminish heavily. This means regardless of whether or not you got the direction right when you placed an order for your contract, regardless of if it goes to the exact spot you were expecting, if you had bought that contract, the implied volatility on those contracts will have decreased so much that you're going to get IV crushed regardless. You don't want to be holding any contracts over the next year or two at all. At all. You don't want any of them. If anything, you want to be writing contracts specifically, yeah, just writing contracts because when you write a contract, you actually gain from that implied volatility. While purchased contracts are getting IV crushed, written contracts are collecting that IV crush right so i just want you guys to recognize the range here and just how completely inflated this garbage asset is such as the vix it, it, it's not even an asset it's, it's a gamble more than anything it spikes up super quick but then comes straight back down for extended periods of time and as it comes down um you actually like gain like look its current price is the same as this candle right here this same resistance, right? What happened? It fell 70%. We are currently projecting seven, as much as 75, right? Um, why would we think that? Well, it's happened before. From its current price point, this in this uh, volatility index, right, has been rejected and came all the way down, guys. It happens often. Count on it. Bank on it because it's going to happen. This thing is overvalued objectively, objectively. So expect a massive pullback in the VIX and expect indexes to run when this happens, right? And this is what we all want. Did I change that back to yellow? Again, this midpoint, we put the blue line there, but it's actually representative of the blue weekly and monthly. Um... 180 moving average, right? It is above that. Rejected, sells off. The current price, again, this is current price. We're just gonna go across. Boom, sold off 70%. Boom, sold off 56%. Boom, sold off 56%. This is the exact same price that it was three years ago. This thing does not appreciate. It doesn't. It only depreciates, actually, as you saw by its perfectly horizontal price so if you were to ever be placing a trade in this you would want to be at that nine dollar it if it's not the nine dollar you don't want it at all at all there aren't even many brokerages that let you get direct access to the vix right um most brokerages don't even let you do it and in order to gain access to it, you have to go through all these sketchy ETFs that honestly, every ETF in regards to vol like me this vol volatility is so bad. They're so like, like these are so bad. You, you put your money in this stuff, guys. Like, what is this? Look, look at the amount of decay relative to its current price, relative to its current price. This 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 stuff has depreciated ninety nine point nine 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 percent, and it just keeps doing it. It just like look, I'm zooming in. I'm I'm trying to get the current price. I'm zooming in. What's happening? Um, um, maybe maybe we'll see something in here. Like you guys don't want to be trading this so bad. This is the absolute last stuff you want anywhere near your portfolio. Look how bad this is. Like you will lose playing the volatility game. You will lose. You don't want options at all. You will get IV crushed. You want to be purchasing contracts so you could benefit off that IP. Look, ever like this this is the type of crap you have access to based on your brokerage, right? This thing every f one, two, three, every 5 months this thing just takes a massive step down of like 50%. Every 5 months this this asset just depreciates like 50%. It's it's crazy, guys. And I, I just really wanted to demonstrate um, 
our current projections for the VIX before we got offline today and show you guys that you do not want to be holding options. It is currently above average at resistance. Current lowest, the support would be $9. It's going to lose as much as 75%. It doesn't maintain this price for long. We've shown you multiple times as it's been rejected from its current price point and sold off 75%, and it will happen again. Um, count on it. That being said, that is the true ending. That is true end game, guys. That is true end game. Long major market indexes, regardless of your country, if you're in the Asian region, you're going to be doing well. If you're in... Um, Europe, you're going to be doing well. U.S., you're going to be doing well. Again, you want to be getting in when the headlines are scary, right? We showed the emotion, this trader cycle of emotions. It makes an appearance. Every chapter of my book that I've been writing in my Discord, we're on like chapter eight right now. It's, you know. Thank you guys so much for watching this stream. Make sure to check out my website, ethanren.com. From there, you can find links to all my various socials. We are currently live on YouTube and Twitch. Make sure to sub or follow if you want to be get notified next time I go live. Um, and yeah, I have a Discord available at ethanren.com. It's free. Make sure to join. And watch out for the highlights because I have my new highlights coming. The YouTube has been, been doing kind of well, so make sure to check that out. And I really appreciate you guys for stopping by. Thank you so much. This is the real ending. No, not kidding this time. This is the real ending. We are not kidding this time.